Power Music has a powerful chord sheet editor built into it, so let's have a look at that now. If we click on the new song icon, we go into the editor where we can put in chord sheets, sheet music and put in our tags and indexes for a piece of music. By default it starts up on the chord sheet, but you can select the other kinds by just clicking on the tag here. If we already have the lyrics, for instance in a Word document, we can copy and paste them into the editor here, or we can simply start typing in the lyrics. So I'm just going to type in the lyrics here. OK, so there's the first two lines of my song, and I'm now going to put in the chords. So the first thing you have to decide is what key is this going to be in. So we set up the key, it's going to be a key of G, G major. And when we do that, we get a list of the commonly used chords in a song which is in G major. If the chord is not there, then you can build up a chord using this part of the program here, where we can set the root, the variation, the extension, and the bass note. How do we position our chords in? All you do is click where you want the chord to appear, and then click on the chord you want, and it inserts it above the cursor at that point. Click again, and then click again. On the second line, again, position my cursor, click the chord I want, click the chord I want. If it's not in the position you want it in, you can just press delete or space to line it up in the position you want. As I said, if the chord is not in this list here, you can set up a chord here by using the drop down lists and choosing whatever it is you want and insert the chord in. I uh, don't think that's a real chord, but never mind. When you do that, the chord then gets added to the list down here, so if you want to use that chord again, click on it and insert it into your music again. There's also special characters you can put into the chord sheets in here, and these allow you to put comments and other information into the chord line of your song. Once you've typed in your lyrics and put in all the chords you want, you then have to add a title. So we'll click here in a title, so the, this is my song, is the title of this. You can have as many titles as you want for a song, and in fact you don't even need to have unique titles for songs. You can have two songs with the same title. If you want to see what this is going to look like full screen, if you click on Preview, it will display it full screen, and pressing Escape or clicking in the corner will take us back. We can set a tempo if we know the tempo of our music, and we can set how many pages we want per screen here. If we want to display capo chords, we can set the capo chord here and click to display the capo chord so that every time you open that up, it'll come up with the capo chord displayed. So once you've put in your lyrics and your chords, given it titles, made sure the key and everything is set up correctly, click on save. It tells us that you've not set any tags for your song. We'll do tags later on and show you how you put the tags in. You don't have to put tags in, but it's probably a good idea to put at least the copyright information in. So we'll say continue anyway, yes. Song has been successfully added. You'll see there is a song added into the list of all the songs. That's how you can use the Chord Sheet Editor to create a chord sheet using Power Music.